Changes are coming to Charlotte Douglas Airport and they threaten to cause a traffic mess out there. The traffic lanes are going to be shifting, closing, reopening right next to the terminal. Channel 9's Joe Bruno is live tonight taking us through the changes that will impact so many people and of course the people coming to pick them up, Joe. Yeah, Scott, starting tomorrow night at 11, all the traffic is going to be routed into these five lanes. That will last until Halloween when this new section of the arrivals terminal opens. As you can imagine, there could be a lot of confusion with this, so airport officials are launching it now so they can work out any changes that may need to be made before the holiday rush. If you are grabbing someone or being picked up at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, you know it can be an unpleasant experience. I traveled a lot to Europe and Africa, and I never seen something ridiculous like this terminal picking up people from the airport. Airport officials hope that will change. This is a rough diagram of the pickup and drop off area. The terminal is to the right, parking deck to the left. Right now, lanes one and three are open. You pick up passengers in three, lane one is for buses and shuttles. Tomorrow night, lane three is going to close. That means all traffic will squeeze into that first lane. But relief will come on Halloween when lane two will finally open. The changes bring more capacity and officials hope the new routes will make things more efficient. By providing the additional lanes, we should be able to distribute the traffic a lot better. The lane shift is happening now, so the airport can address any issues before the holiday rush. And when you are picked up, when you pick up somebody, it's like you had a, a great achievement. For longtime drivers like Mohammed Amir, any improvements are greatly appreciated. I have a lot of people who complained about how ridiculous it is to come be picked up from uh, this terminal at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. It's a shame. Now you see that four down there. Eventually, when this new section opens, that's where all the Uber and Lyfts will be. In the meantime, though, while all this traffic change is uh, happening, they're going to direct the ride shares upstairs. And then on the 31st, they'll be back down here in zone four, like I just showed you, Scott. <laughs> These are growing pains and they've been going on out there for years. All right, Joe, thanks very much. A lot more changes.